take the camera and try and see what Good evening, folks, and welcome to Whitehall Cullen Kills Pitch here in Collins Avenue for uh, the Senior Football Championship of 2020. It's Whitehall against St. Vincent's in uh, Group 3. Tonight I have uh, Brian Bourke from St. Vincent's helping out, commentating and analysing the game. Brian, what are we going to expect tonight? Well, the weather is going to be a factor, obviously, Connor. Uh, this is a little bit of a leveller. Um, having said all of that, uh, the preparation for both teams were certainly interrupted, as it's been for all teams and all groups. Uh, we'll wait and see. It's it's difficult to see anything but a Vincent's win, but uh, I'm just going through the teams there and uh, Whitehall's success at underage level in recent years. Uh, I'd be expecting big games from a few of those players. Yeah, just going through... There's possibly six to seven debutants there coming up through the underage ranks and they've been thrown in at the deep end, Brian. Uh, certainly, uh, <laughs> it's a tough way to start your career at senior football. Okay, starting at number one, uh, Stephen Lawless. He's a debutant, goalkeeper. Uh, David Werley, 19-year-old, just straight out of mine. He's up in DCU, cornerback. Tenacious young player. Well, you would expect him to finish the, the game with a, a, at least a yellow card depending on who he's marking. Matty Morn, you know, good breeding there with Paddy Morn's son. You also have Eddie Morn, uh, son of Paddy. So good pedigree there. Uh, Darrell Ryan, he's a bit of experience to the, the back line. Lee Gannon, centre-back. I presume he's going to pick up Connolly. I'd, uh, I'd expect a, <laughs> a bit of a... A little bit of getting to know each yes, other. Yeah, yeah a bit yeah. of a gock one there. How's yeah. your handbag, you know? Um... Number seven, Luke McCarty, bit of a speed merchant. We'd expect him to get forwards. Starting in the midfield with Huey McInerney and Sean Fawn. Sean, you know, he's he's with the under twenties this year. They still have a, a final to play come the end of October, under twenty final. So he was a starting the last day for the under twenties. He'd be under pressure to keep his position from young Lowry from Vincent, would he? Well, Sean Larry got injured last year and Sean Foran took his place, but no disrespect to Sean, he's a fine player. I've seen him playing for the Dublin Miners and the Whitehall Miners in recent years and a uh, re really impressive uh, player. Um, strong on the ball, uh, fast and, you know, yeah. technically quite good. Okay, the half-forward line, Keen Murphy, Owen O'Donnell and Keith Campbell. I'd expect Keane to fall back into a... A sort of a defensive role from that position. Again, Owen O'Donnell does needs no introduction. The dual player for the for the for the club and especially a, you know a high profile player for the Dublin Hurlers. Keith Campbell again, good pedigree. You would have played with his father John in Parnells all those years ago. Good, strong, athletic young player. You know, um, he's also a, he would be a debutant today for senior football. Full forward line, Tony O'Sullivan, a bit of experience underage, played yep. under 20 and minor for Dublin. We'd expect him to sort of leave that full forward position and do a bit of a roving. Cormac needs no introduction. I'd say he'll be tightly marked today. I'd say Vincent's have a plan in place for him. And top of the corner, John Bridgman, who brings a bit of experience to yep. the Whitehall team. Uh, the Vincent's team. A good blend there, Connor. I have to say. A good uh, blend, yep. Yeah, I've just received the Vincent's team. So uh, in goals is uh, Michael Savage, uh, obviously understudy to Stephen Cluxon for a good number of years. Uh, Michael's a great lad, uh, buckets of experience. Uh, can't see him letting us down at all. Mick Concar, uh, under 21 uh, winner with Dublin in 2012. Uh, vastly experienced as well. Uh, Craig Wilson is deputising at fullback for the injured Jarlett Corley. Uh, Craig has been around the Dublin panel in recent years as well. and. Nearly 40 years of age and still a fine athlete. Um, yeah, he complements. Could he be exposed? His age could it be exposed? Uh, I don't Tony think so. Tony O'Sullivan going in there. I don't think Bring so. Bring him out for um, a run now. Maybe, maybe we'll see. Uh, Brendan's a fine athlete. Uh, his background in nutrition. He's lecturer in DCU at a very high level. Um, obviously, playing at 40 years of age, he's getting yeah. the most out of himself. Uh, at five, then is Sean Lamb, under 20 winner last year with uh, two years ago with uh, Dublin. Uh, Cameron Jordan is centre back and uh, debutant at left half back, Mark Lestrange. Uh, Mark is on the under 20s this year and a good prospect. 
middle of the park then is uh, Nathan Mullins, uh, son of Brian, and uh, 2017 Club Footballer of the Year in Dublin. So if we can recapture that form, he'll give Whitehall plenty of problems. Has he recovered from the smack James and Carty gave him a few years ago? I think it might take a few more years for him to get over that one, Connor. <laughs> Partnering him in the middle of the park is uh, Liam McGovern. Uh, Liam is just out of minor as well, the same as Mark, and uh, again involved with the under 20s this year. Uh, fine uh, footballer uh, and a, a good opportunity for him this evening. How old is he, did you say, Liam? Uh, both of them 19, they're just out of minor. Yeah, right. good lads. Then at 10 is uh, Shane Carthy. Uh, Shane not needs no introduction, he's been around the Dublin panel for a good number of years as well. Uh, fine footballer. Centre uh, half forward is Dermot Connolly. Most of the nation know him at this stage. Yeah, yeah. And at number 12, Albert Martin. Uh, Albert's been around the panel for a good number of years, uh, expecting a big performance from him. It's a good opportunity for him. And then the full forward line, we have another debutant, Greg Murphy. Uh, Greg has been around the panel a few years, getting his opportunity tonight. I've known him since he was a juvenile. I coached him myself, a uh, fine player. I uh, hope things go well for him this evening. Uh, Full forward, uh, Sean Lowry, who will be known to all the Whitehall lads. He went to school in St. Aidan's, so I'm sure he's played yeah. with plenty of them. He uh, could have easily come up to Whitehall if he wanted it. Uh, well. We'll talk about that after the match, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, a fine player, uh, really, really pacey. He'll come out the field a little bit and expect him to go at the back line, and uh, he, he, he'll definitely cause problems. Fine, fine prospect. Uh, and top of the left then is uh, Mossy Quinn. Uh, still doing the business at 38 years of age and uh, probably one of the finest club players that Dublin has ever seen. Still, like the fine yeah, wine, yeah, maturing yeah. well. Really good. So what are the key matchups, do you think, uh, from from today? Oh, obviously, the threat for, for Woyha will be Cormac. So do you expect Craig to pick up Cormac or uh, Mick Concar? I would say uh, Mick Concar will be picking up... Um Come on through, lads. <laughs> How you been? <laughs> Um, ju that's just my. I d I I'm not privy to who's picking who up, but I would okay. expect Mick Concar to pick up Cormac. Yeah, uh, I'd say I think be Mick is a fine man marker and he's a lot of pace as Cormac does as well. Yeah. So I think he'd be the man to mark him. Um, and I expect Craig Wilson to play in front of the back too. I'm expecting Tony O'Sullivan to come out the field a bit. He wouldn't be yeah. a natural corner forward. So will, will Brendan follow him out? Do you think, or will they just keep sit and roll there? I'm not sure. Uh, one of them will sit, obviously. Um, Craig Wilson has traditionally played that role for Vincent's as yeah, a sweeper. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it may not be the same this evening. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not privy, so I don't know. But uh, The midfield midfield battle, OK. Two young lads there for Vincent's in the middle, 19-year-olds. I'd expect very athletic, box-to-box -box lads. Huey might struggle there, would he? Huey's an experienced. Yeah, he was a lot around. of mileage on the clock. Yeah, he has. Um, again, I'm not sure of the matchup there. You could put youth with uh, experience. Maybe Sean Foran being marked by Liam McGovern. Um, Sean is quite pacey as Liam is as well. So yeah. Nathan then marking Hugh. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what way that will will, will fare out. You so Brian, you're trying to tell me there's no weak links on that Vincent team. There's always weak links. You just have to find them. Yeah. Well, as you say, the weather's a bit of a, a leveller. It's starting to clear up now, as you can see. The two teams out warming up. Um, you can see the Dublin Mountains now. Um, very wet under surface there. It's yeah. been raining very heavily for the last hour or two. Yeah. Um, so, so slippery. a ball. bit of experience on, on under a, a high ball, high wet ball. Yeah, a bit of cuteness around the square now, and the ball could end up in the net very easily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, tonight, on the same group... We have Bally Bowden against Clontarf. So out of four teams, Bally Bowden being current um, county champions, do you expect the runners-up position to be bet between Clontarf and Vincent's? Or would you think Whitehall an outside bet there? I would think Vincent's would win it. I think the oh. Oh I do, yeah. yeah. I think Bally Bowden could be the runners-up. Okay, so Vincent's would have Bally Bowden at home on the 5th of August. Yeah, that's a big, big game, you know. Um, okay. But, you know, I wouldn't dismiss Clontarf. They ran Bowden very close about two years ago. Uh, it was only very late in the game that they pulled ahead, and they've had put in some really, really good performances over the last number of years. Uh, I expect Clontarf to give Bowden a, a, a right good going. I'm expecting Bowden to win, but I think Clontarf will give them a good game. And I, I, and I expect score difference is going to be key. It could be, all right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. 
Um, so if they want to rack up the scores, any winning team have Absolutely, to Absolutely, yeah. And yeah. If, they, if they're looking at Whitehall at the the Whipping Boys, this is probably with their their opportunity. But I don't think Whitehall has given them an easy ride. No, I'm impressed with the mix on the Whitehall team. Yeah. I don't expect it to be that straightforward. No, both all. teams are going to be ring rusty, Brian. Absolutely, the preparation for everybody has been, you know, pretty pretty poor. Uh, they're, o- they're only back as a group in the last number of weeks, doing a bit of training on their own. So all teams are in the same boat. So, yeah. you know, as I said, we spoke about the weather being a leveler. That will be a lever as well because preparations aren't what they they should have been. You know. And so the Vincent lads, like we Hall lads, they would have had a their Zoom sessions, their individual yeah uh, plans made out yeah. for them. But, but you know yourself from playing, you can't beat matches, you know. Yeah. And they're only even playing training matches the last number of weeks. Yeah. So, uh, so I don't even any think... Any friendlies? You got a friendly in against uh, Luton Kill Crew, was that? Did they play up there? I don't think Vincent's have had a friendly. So this is their going in They may have had one, but they didn't tell me. Okay, all right. No, we were down a, a friendly day against Parnells last week. Yeah, a good win. Yeah. You know, but um, again, there was rustiness there. You'd expect. Oh, you, you need know. several games to get, oh get up to the you know. pitch of the game. Um, and again, the deputies being thrown in today, the likes of Eddie Morn, Stephen Lawless. He's our resident DJ. Hopefully, he's good as in his own box as he is in the, the DJ box. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> going forward in the other group games tonight, there's eight games on in the senior championship. They're all thrown in at half six this evening. Um, in Group One, Davis is against uh, Round Towers Lusk, Ballymun against Gary. So, out of that group, who would you expect to come out of that group to win that group? Well, Thomas Davis, runners up last year, uh, had a very good l- year last year. Very impressed with them. Um, and Round Towers debutants in the senior championship this year. You know, and uh, they won the B championship last year. Yeah. Uh, are we expecting Thomas Davis to win that one, Connor? Would you? I would. Yeah. Would you not think that this is ideal preparation for Ballymun? They're not. Their county lads are. They're not down with the county. They're training with the <coughs> their, their club team at the moment. Well, in recent years, what's been spoken about Ballymun is that they're coming back from the Dublin setup tired and injured, uh, okay. maybe mentally fatigued. So this is a perfect opportunity f- for them to be fresh this year and, uh, and and do the business, so to speak. So it's it's. Uh, it's difficult to see Scary's putting it up to them. Yeah. Um, so the I top two out of that group, you're, you're expecting Davis and, and Kickhams? You know, I'd, I'd be expecting Kickhams to win that group. And, I, uh, you know, Kickhams are a live chance of for, the, for, the, for the overall championship this year um, w- with the freshness uh, yeah. of their players. You know, yeah. they have about six players on the county setup. you know. Okay. In group two, you have L- Luke and Sarsfield against Ballantyre, Jude's against Nafina. So you fancy maybe Jude's? They were semi finalists last year. Jude's are a really difficult team to play against. Uh, set up very well, w- well drilled and well organised, and have been for a good number of years. Um, uh, a defensive setup normally, but a attack at pace, and uh, have caused problems for all teams over the over the last number of years. Uh, generally, a top four team. Yeah, uh, yeah. Wouldn't expect any different this year, and I think that game against Nafina tonight will be a real good yeah. ding dong battle. You know, yeah, like Nafina over the years, traditionally they suffered with lads heading across to the states on their J1. They should have a, a, a full complement this year. Yeah, Nafina, uh, you know, relative to their underage success in recent years, th- they haven't really produced at senior level in in football or hurling. Uh, but that They do, yeah. Yeah. Um, You know, they need to push on, and if they push on and develop from last year, um, I'd be expecting big things from this year. Certainly, they need to push on to uh, to to a final. They they've traditionally kind of been a the last eight team, okay, last four last year. So you know. So you expect the winner of that group will be from either Jews or Nafina tonight. I do, yeah. Being at home, yeah. Um, Group four: Castlenock against Plunkett's, the local derby, and Kilmacud against Rohini. Who do you fancy out of that group? Um, obviously, Kiel McCord. Well, Crokes are obviously the the farm team there. Uh, huge numbers, huge huge amount of experience at senior level with Dublin and uh, underage. Yeah. Uh, hard to look beyond them. Uh, <coughs> Rohini are a coming team. They have a lot of uh, very, very good players. Yeah, uh, Howard and Trent and Key. Yeah, and a couple of other lads there, uh, Sean McMahon and a couple of, uh, couple of other players. 
players that have played at the under, under 20 level with the Dublin team. Uh, I think Rohini could cause problems in that group. In fact, I think they'll come through ahead of Castelnock and Plunkett's. You think so? Yeah. 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 Plunkett's are they're, they're going back to basics now. Teddy O'Brien is managing there. He's going for youth. He's the lads, the Brogans, yeah. Collins have all moved on. He's going back to a rebuilding yeah. scenario at the moment. Castlenock, are they still too raw? They don't have the killer in. They haven't really pushed on since they got... Problems for teams over the last number of years, so this might okay. be their year. So, so Kim McCord and Rahini out of that group. Okay, we're doing yeah. good. Um, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll get back for the start of the match. Thanks very much.
sideline on Whitehall are playing left to right as you're looking at the game facing the Dublin Mountains if you can see them bit of a wind advantage for Vincent's okay first wide of the game to Carmen Coslo free number 24 okay short kick out there on O'Donnell on the ball He's going through, head down, off leg. Great start for Whitehall. Goal from Karma Coslo. Great start. Poor kick out there for Nick Savage. He's going to the Whitehall are playing a tactic. Let them have the ball. Vincent slow build up from the back. Tony O'Sullivan is playing as a sweeper. He's coming right back. Okay, Vincent says, uh, ball. Young Larry on the ball. Hand off to, is that Tom Quinn, is it? Morty. Oh, keep that. Tough tackle, tough tackle. Tony's coming out with the ball. Don't hop it there, you clown. Huey. Playing out from the back now, Oi Hall. Long ball in, he's on the front. On is on at front. Craig Wilson has picked up on that. Looks. Cormac now. Played off the Cormac. Head down. He's going to take him on. Craig is shadowing him. Nice crossfield ball. Oh, he's getting bashed. Go on, Lee. Good lad. Oh, that's a good start. Come up the pitch there, Lee Gannon. From centre back. Nice score. 1 1 to no score now to Whitehall. Less than five minutes into the game. So it's a tactic there for Way Halbrine, is it? Just to let uh, Vincent have the ball and let them work it out. And, and pack the defence here as a sweeper with Tony O'Sullivan. Yeah, uh, uh, coming back in numbers there. and uh, They have Tony O'Sullivan there just, just on the ball there. Uh, back from corner forward, playing in front of the back. Well done, Sean Farm breaking up the play. Keith Campbell away. Ball in midfield, another long ball in. They must be targeting now Owen O'Donnell and Carmen Coslow on the inside. Broken up, turnover for Vincent's. Okay, the ref did play advantage, but no advantage there, so he's pulled back for a free kick. Expect Tom Quinn. This is his territory. Wet ball, greasy ball, but an experienced player. Okay, Tom Crane setting himself up. Nice strike. Has he got the legs? Nice point there from Tom Crane. Vincent's are on the bar now with a point from Tom Crane. Just in 45. Looking at the setups now for the midfield, uh, for the kick out for Whitehall. Mullins is drifting, Sean Farm. They switch. Hughes made a run. Is he going to go long, Stephen? Long ball, he's picked out Huey on the run. Okay, breaking ball to Vincent. Mullins is on the ball. Oh, nice ball in, Dara Ryan's up his arse. Don't foul, don't foul. Ah, oh, soft free ref. Okay, another free to Vincent, right in the 21 yard line. Soft free, man. Yeah, he'd lost possession there, Greg, and uh, the ball had run away from him. I'm not sure what the free was for. Was there a slight push in the back? Yeah, the referee should really be allowing for the, for the conditions, should he? No, not when Vincent's uh, no. involved. <laughs> 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 so 
So Massey Quinn then with the free. So one one to two points. That's bread and butter to him. So the next kick out. Same tactic again. He's looking around there to go short. He's coming out the side here. Nice ball. David Worley, our young debutant. Nice catch. Well done, young man. David Worley. Off to Sean Farn. There we go. You look better. Quick ball off. Huey's away. Now, this could go anywhere. He's not regarded as the best kicker in the game. That's it. Play the air strength, Huey. Just win your ball and give it off easy. Here's Cormac's on the ball. Keith Campbell. Cutting across. Oh, breaking down again. Ten second turnaround for Finchy. Right away and drop. Okay, Vince. The pace here now. Mick Concar, Nathan Mullins. Intercepted. Well, well done, Wyha. Well done. That is on the ball. Keane Murphy's actually dropping back as well. Oh, they're going to break it up. Well done. Don't overplay it there, lads. Well done, Sean. Don't let them play the ball around there, boy. I'll get it into it. Oh, come on. Well, Sean Lamb on the ball now, 20 yards out, going through. Has the advantage. Comes back, but the referee calls the free back. So we have he another he free. For the free. Is he allowed to do that? Young Lamb, he called for a free that there was no advantage. He wanted the free. Now there's three threes given away. We will be punished if they can't win. This is a trickier one now. It's on the wrong side. Well, Dermot Connolly's going to take this one. It's been taken hard. by and of Varley would normally take this, but uh, not starting this evening. So three, three, po three points. So one, one to three points. Vincent's back in the game. Sluggish start, but they're back again. Kick out. Sure, kick out. Tony Dunk, hardy in that tackle. Big Anna now on the ball. Looking for the ball. A way out. Don't mess with it there. Well done. Kenny Murphy. They still haven't got out with their own half, Brian. There's around 10 passes played, and he still haven't got out of their own half. Luke McCarthy. Yeah, they've been patient. A patient build up here by Whitehall. There's not a lot for them to hit uh, up front, so they're just uh, working it out slowly. Oh. You know, the overcarry in there. Go on, Luke. You have the speed. Head down. He won't catch you. He won't catch you. He still has the ball, Luke. Yeah. Tony O'Sullivan. Recycling the ball across now. On the halfway line, Huey. John Bridgman has come out. Long ball in again. Is he picking out Owen O'Donnell? Craig hasn't been out in front yet. Well done, Owen. Nice mistake. Well they're getting hopeful. That's a real. Free. Yeah, it was Call a horror shot, there. though, wasn't it? It's 1-1 uh, to 3 points. Okay, free now. Cormac's on the ball. Striking it out of his hands. Nice strike. Good that's score. Point. So that's one, two to Whitehall. Three points to Vincent's. Nice strike. Owen O'Donnell has been on top of Craig there, would you say, at this stage? He is indeed. Long ball's uh, gone in. Uh, uh, dealing with the long ball in at all. They're yeah. behind their man and... Uh, White all winning primary possession there on numerous occasions with both Owen O'Donnell and Cormac Costello. Good lad, good hit. Well done, Sean. Cormac now on the sideline. Ball across. That's a hit and hope there. Gone straight over the far side. Vincent's ball. Far side. Look, they've an advantage there. Numerical advantage, two and one. Great. White Hall slow to get across. Come on, lads. 
again, a slow build up from Vincent's. Why Haller are letting them get to the halfway line. Go ball though. Why not seem to have two spare men on the back line yeah, there? Yeah, Keane Murphy's coming back, yeah. Antonio. So, so they're packing the defence and forcing a long ball in then fr from the halfway line. Sorry, John. Come up here at half time and I'll make you animated. <laughs> nice ball. David Whirly, young flip. Don't. Uh, yeah, touch it on the ground. Did touch it on the ground. Pitch is looking well, Brian. Yeah, pitch is looking well. Would but you believe our groundskeeper? He served his time in Augusta National over in uh, Georgia. Really? He, then, he then progressed on to Salog, Royal Salog in Ballymore. You believe me, don't let him near the, the leaf blower. He'll take the head off you. <laughs> Timbo. <laughs> I'm out with no fingers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Again, a short ball, slow build up by Vincent. They're allowed to bring the ball to the halfway line. Oi Hall are packing the defense. They have two extra men in the defense. Vincent's allowed to expose a long range point. Great score. Nice strike. Great score there by the debutant, Lee McGovern. Fine score with his left foot. Off the 30 yards out. Two footed player. Pit Good prospect. There. Again, short kick out from Whitehall Tony to Maddie Morn. Off to Lee Gannon. Again, big. Vincent are pushing up. They're forcing uh, Whitehall to play the ball before the halfway line. Lunch Sean. Maddie Morn, big bloke, isn't he? Yeah, Maddie's a fun. An athlete. I, I remember him playing as a minor. He played midfield as a minor, if, if I remember correctly. He would have, yeah, yeah. 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 And he, he would have been part of that All Ireland winning uh, under 20 panel at that time. That's right. You think he was injured, was he? Yeah, yeah. He's been lucky over the years with the injuries. Yeah, that's Interesting about that poor ball. Shiny ball from there. Yeah, the sweepers are causing Vincent's oh. problems. Owen is out in front of Craig again. Ah, oh, no, he was falling. Mm. He was falling. Get up out of that. I've seen them give him. Yeah, he knew what he was doing. There they go, short kick out again. Your man Mick Savage, if he was in any other county, he'd be on the county pin, wouldn't he? He would, and I suppose a bit like Evan Comer for the, de the deputy keeper at the moment. Uh, Stephen Cluxon has set such high standards, it's difficult yeah. to uh, to take him from his perch. There's Tom Crane, will he make it? Doesn't show, show signs of his age. Greg Murphy on the ball here. Getting fouled, getting fouled here, but yeah, no free. Yeah, Give him the free to Vincent. The crowd, yeah. No social distancing there, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just coming up to 12 minutes here, Connor. I'm, I'm impressed with Connor uh, with Whitehall's application uh, to, to yeah. this game. They're well organised. Uh, and they seem to be well up for it, yeah, absolutely. So one, one two, is it one two to two one two to three? Two. Here's that long ball in Tone O'Donnell. Craig's getting a bit of a roasting. Oh well blocked, nice block. Oh, the ref was playing advantage, you saw the foul, he's bringing it back for the free. Again, Cormac's range. I said, Mick Savage, if he played for Mayo, they might have had an all around by now, wouldn't they? No. All the trouble <laughs> they oh well, probably not. The trouble they've had with keepers over the years. Yeah, they certainly have David Clark and Rob Henley. <laughs> <laughs> Who's it gonna be? <laughs> yeah, this is in Carmen's range again. Setting himself up. What's he like? Johnny Wilkin. Nice strike. Another score. One three to three. Is there a change being made? Is that? Someone's coming water on. Someone break. injured? Oh, water, water break. Water break. It's hard to believe, Brian, with the rain we had there. There was a hose pipe ban less than a month ago. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's an early water break, isn't it? 
Okay. 14 minutes. Mm. Okay, very impressed with Hoy Hall's start, Connor. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They, you know, a good start with the goal. They set themselves out well. They know what they're doing. They're well organised at the back. The greasy ball, the ball is breaking. There's a lot of turnovers on both hands. Yeah, there's a lot of movement up front Whitehall Hall with Owen O'Donnell and Cormac are certainly the target men and they're getting up front of their men into space with Tony O'Sullivan dropping out of that full forward line. He's created that room for them to move. Would you think now that Vincent's with their extra man in the back, they'll, they'll double team Owen O'Donnell? Well, I don't know where the extra man, I can't see well up that end of the pitch. Yeah, but, but it there's it there's dropped here, uh, back here, his man is surely free up there. Yeah, but he's, he doesn't seem to be doing his job. He's not no. standing in front of uh, oh, no, either no. owner or Cormac. Oh, no, yeah. They're getting a lot of primary possession there. In fact, every ball is going in. has been one. Yeah. Uh, two strong men. Owen O'Donnell looks in great shape, Connor. Oh, yeah. We all now would have a lot of uh, dual players. They played Horland Championship against Bridges there last week. The likes of Eddie Moran, a debut in the scene of Horland. Owen O'Donnell, Lee Gannon, Sean Farn. They all played Senior Horland Championship now. Where Vincent's would be don't have that luxury as such, you know. They don't have that luxury. No, no, no dual players in Vincent, no? Uh, no, we've no dual players. We had uh, Rory Trainer and Dermot Connolly up to recent years, but uh, no, no dual players this year. This lad starting off. David Wherley's starting off well, isn't he? Cornerback. Really on, well. on Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah, highly impressed with him. Here, Dermot Connolly breaks the ball down. So we've Nathan Mullins on the ball, looks up, goes to go inside, has to come back around and recycle. Man in, Tom to Quinn's the only one sitting in. Dermot Connolly, Sean Lamb, surplus bodies out this side. Liam McGovern having another go. Miss kicks this one, still in play though. Punched across. Boy, I'll collect. Come on, Keith. Simple ball. Oh, poor turnover. Oh, well done, Keith Campbell. Well done, lads. Kane Murphy on the ball. Damn, it kindly quiet. Did he touch the ball that half? Is that a free? Still all right. Here's Craig now. Craig Wilson to Shane Carthy. Shane tracking back. Mick Concar now on the ball. They're going back again. Yeah. Why haul let them? Yeah. Have a look that end. The body's back. They break quick though. He's a good, good runner with the ball, isn't he? Typical Sean, yeah, he's, he's Typical fast, yeah. Lamb. The slow build up is suiting Way Hall though. They've a, they've a wing, two wing forwards, a corner forward, and a midfielder back here now. Look, yeah. they've two, two on the Push. 13 meter line there, 10 and 15. Dan McConley's range again? Yes. Soft phrase we're getting, we will be punished. I know this, this could be four, four scores from four phrases, is it? Oh no, three scores. McGovern got a point from play. That scoreboard is wrong, I think. I think we should have four. Got three from Freeze and sh uh, Lee McGovern got a, a point. Yeah. Oh, well 40 well 45. Yeah, the score should read on your screen there. One, three to four points. So 45 to Vincent, Mossy Quinn on the ball. Should be in his range. Just a little bit further out, Brian. Will he make this one? Uh, no, 
Nice try. All the way. Great nice score. Try. Nice try. Very good. So oh, wait. Is it white? No. Oh, no. Point. Keep the point. Point. One three to five. One by Shane Carthy. Giving off to Albert Martin. Albert soloing through. Sean Larry. Sean recycles out to Mark Lestrange. Mossy Quinn. Mossy has a go. Looks good. Great score, oh, Mossy. Great score. Great score really, for Mossy really Quinn. Really, really good score. That's his fourth, is it? Four, yeah. Jeremy Connolly and Liam McGovern. So uh. six points now. One three to six. One three to six. Sharp ball again. Huey's on it. Again, Huey. Don't kick the ball. Don't kick the ball. Free and out of Whitehall. Taken quickly. Brian, would you rather be here watching this game or at home and having a glass of Prosecco on the decking? We'll skip that comment. <laughs> <laughs> we might have a glass of Prosecco later together, maybe. Okay. Will we still be friends after this? Oh, I'd say so. Who's down in it? Uh, Luke, Luke McCarthy. He's a flyer. His sister is a great athlete. She runs for um, long jump for Ireland. She runs for long jump? No, she runs and a uh, 100 meter sprinter jump. and a, a long jumper for Ireland. Elite athlete. Sean Farr now, building up from the halfway line. Again, there's that long ball into Owen. Well held. Oh, they're, they're boxing the head out in there. Come on, ref, give him a chance. Well done. Very strong, out in front again. Owen is causing big, big problems in there. He's very, very strong. He won primary possession there again, and despite the tackles from the Vincent's players, was able to withstand them. Looking like a shootout between Cormac and Tom Quinn here. We'll switch first. Oh, nice score. There we go. So one four to six. Sharp ball again. Oh, Mick Savage. Another free to Vincent's. Yeah, off the ball. Sean Farn conceding that free. Late tackle. Can't be conceding there. Here's, this is bread and butter again for the. It's been a game of freeze really so far, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Himself up, open the drone here. Mossy nice with the free. Trick. That's straight over. Oh, very good. That's his fifth score of the game now. Boy, oh, I'll have to stop silly phrase. They'll just be punished all day long. Matty Moore now. Again, Matty wouldn't be renowned for his kicking either, so play to your strengths. Oh, I think all Whitehall scores have been from freeze as well, have they not? No, they got the goal, didn't they? Well, apart from the goal, yeah. but uh, they're all their points. No, Lee Gannon got one. Yes. Play, Lee Gannon. Come on, lad. Maybe pass if I get a half very line. Okay, Vincent's got a lot of players behind the ball now, so yeah. frustrating Whitehall. It's gone down the line. Again, great man there, I see up in the distance, Brendan Egan, but he appears to be a bit loose. Uh, Carmen's bottled up now. Sorry. Been brought up for a bit of verbal. Sorry again, oh no, ball down in front. Yeah. Right. Pair of hands on it. Oh. We'll slow off the mark there. there. Pass the ball. Down to Albert Martin. Have to filter back there, breaking quick now. 
Push the ball in, well done. Going around. They've got Long ball into Mossy ball. here. Like that's a four and one situation. He's done well. He's done very well. He'll go for goal here. Ah, yeah, yeah, lads. There was no need to bottle him up. Look, four on one. No one coming in to support him. And he can see the free. Dopes. Darren McConnelly again, so with the free. 14 metre free should be red and butter. There's the, the physio there for Vincent's. His reputation like is he, uh, the, is, uh, is he healing hands? Has he? Well, I'm not going to say anything bad about him because he's fixed me a few times. This <laughs> 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 is Dermot's second score from the, uh, from the free. Another score then. So are we up one four to seven. I think it's eight. One that should read one four to eight. We got the breaking ball. Sean Farns got the breaking ball. Hold well on. Releases a quick John Bridgman. No, intercepted well there. Mark was trying to read that well. So Nathan with a long ball. It's going to go over their heads, though. That's yeah, gone wide. That's gone wide. Well intercepted there. And the umpire is given a 45. I didn't see any touch no, on well the ball. Matty Moran didn't touch that. I will take it. Oh, did he see Noel? Because he is seeing Noel, that umpire. So Tomas is taking this one. Out near the sideline goes short, Albert Martin. Goes for the return. Oh. Greg Murphy oh. slips, they run through to Sean Lowry. Another point. Nice score. And Vincent's nose is in front now. They're just starting to get into their yeah, they're control. control. It's slow to start, but yeah, it's opening up a little bit now. I think the direct ball in, in uh, rather than the slow build up is, is suiting Vincent's. One four to nine points. Long ball out. Yui's looking for this one. You up the boys. Yes, well done. Takes the mark. Ah, oh. he's not a kicker. Nathan Mullins has the ball. Sean Lamb coming down the wing. Albert Martin. Slow build up here. Mark Lestrange the looking to lay off. Yeah, We're going to get bottled up. Too far back. Well broken up, Sean Farm. Well done, Darry. Bend your back. Ah. Okay. Okay, they got the free. Relax there, relax. A bit high right in the line here, Connor. Yeah, calm down. Now, Tony. Nothing right. Oh, you, this could go anywhere. Well done, well done. Lee Gannon now out on the far left side. Takes him on. Simple ball. Good runner from the corner back there, Ryan. Back to Lee Gannon, 1 2. Now, recycling the ball. Oh, it's a bit tight there. Bottle loop, aren't they? No, Vincent's. No. Comic. Ah, wild kick, wild kick. That's a high percentage kick. Um, 27 minutes on the clock. So Vincent slowly finding the rhythm after a good start by now they take back. It is a, a story. It's like the two free takers. It's a free takers game, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Do you have to allow for the conditions. You Absolutely, know, you yeah. You can see it freezing those wet conditions, slippy conditions. Short again. Craig Wilson coming down the wing. Looking for options. Goes long. Lowry. You're up, Matt. Well done, Matt. Well won by Matt Moran there from Sean Lowry. Now, simple ball, Matt. Job done. Oh. Now, Sean. Hello, Sean. Slow build up again. Tony O'Sullivan down from the 21 yard line now. A 
aceptar. Oh, fuck. Well done, nice play. Megan and releases. Eddie Marn, young Eddie Marn. Ball in again, oh no, Donald. Breaking ball, John Bridgman, no, no. Yeah. Clinton's have it. No, it's loose, it's loose. Oh no, no, Donald. Off the ground, pain is off the ground. All right, look, free out. Again, can we all get Marcus down the wing. And foul there. That's the best place to foul him. Get we all to regroup now. They already have their backs. The four backs there, yeah. spare five. That's going to be. Now, Lowry's out in front again. Lowry will take him on at every yeah, opportunity. Yeah. There's a lot of backs back there. But there's no one inside the 21. Bad Tom Quinn just creeping in now. Greg Murphy. Don't foul. <laughs> well robbed. Well crowded out. Yeah, well robbed. Very comic. Simple ball, no stupid passes. Uh, they should have broke quicker. Jeez, oh no, Donald. Now they're playing two men on all, one in front and one behind. Yeah. Change the tactic there with Vincent's inside the back line. Well, if we all couldn't break fast there, they had four extra men back in their back yeah. line. But no one running on Carmack's shoulder. Give him an option. Pushing the back there, gets away yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. Playing advantage is easy. Brendan Egan, the only man at 40 years of age who can get away with wearing white boots. <laughs> Looks like someone from Boys Own. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. A full head of hair for 40, well done. Dermot comes across to Albert and Martin. Sean Lamb running on the overlap. He'll oh. Seen freeze given for that. Oh, yeah, thought it was a free. <laughs> 40 minutes now. Bit of bit injury time now, I'd say. <gasps> ah, Tom Quinn turns it over. There we are, there's the half time whistle. Half time there now. The score reads Whitehall 1 4, St. Vincent's 9 points. Entertaining enough. Ah. Wasn't bad considering the conditions. It's very, very slippery out there. A lot of frees given away. But, uh, a lot of turnovers. Great endeavour, yeah. A lot of turnovers.
Welcome back, folks. Okay. Ooh. Very good tackle. Very white good. ball. Yeah, it was uh, a white ball. White ball. Oh. Uh, it was a white ball. Hit off his toy, went off. Good tackle there by Mick Concar. Experienced defender, dispossessed on O'Donnell. Going for Just short. Just a kick out now from Mick Savage. Mick goes Walking short. Up on there. Right hand side. Mullins up there. Tom, is it? No. Albert Martin. Albert loses oh, it. Gets it back. Hopping the ball in the wet. Mullins is back on. He can shift for the big man. Oh. Oh. What's that for, Riff? Free out there. I didn't see what that was oh, for. No. It might have been a tackle off the ball, was it? And he's bringing it forward. Was a Mullins after he released the ball, he took someone out of it. That's what it was. So yeah, he must have he must have followed through on the tackle when he released the ball, Mullins. Oh, cut the boy. Is he getting a yellow card or what? I think he's taking his name okay, yeah. Let's just take his name. And off we go again. Cormac's on the ball. The halfway line. Releases Luke McCarthy, speed merchant. Not running over his kicking. And you can see why. That's why it. Yup. Oh, nice hands, Huey. Now play it simple. Your job is done. You cut the ball. Do not kick them. I should have released it forward. Look. Slow build up again. Another 10 passes in between the at the 45. Switches the play back to the center. Tony O'Sullivan pops it in. Cormac's in front. He's on his own. He'll go for oh, That's a high percentage kick. And it's wide. That's two wides now there for Whitehall. Last two balls in. Easy. I think they're forcing the kick long now. Look, they're man for man up at the. F no short ball coming. Who's up for this? Sean Farn. It's under him. Oh, nice catch. And Mullins is away. No one followed him. Great goal. Oh, great goal great by Lowry. What a nice dummy there. Yeah. Jesus, Mullins, space. acres of space. Yeah. Release there. You know, two, a two-on-one situation. Albert, clean catch and release Mullins very quick. So that's 1-4 to 1-9 now. Yeah, Vince's need to be releasing the ball earlier. Yeah. But they're the results they're reaping. Hopefully that's not the start. You know, uh, you know the floodgates might open now. We will have to break that momentum. Vincent's half. Well, it opened up for them there. They didn't have too many backs uh, uh. back, and some of their half forwards were in their positions in the forward line. Like Sean Farm was probably caught in no man's land there for that. Yeah, it was that open. It opened yeah. up. Long kick out now from Steele. Another clean catch, Cameron Diamond. Ops the play on. Massey Quinn. Dermot's been quiet. Yeah. Here we go, though. Back to Massey, is it? Greg Massey Murphy. On. Good score, Greg. Yep. Okay, last two scores, a goal and a point. You know, Whitehall, three wides. And they're very efficient with the play, Vincent's there. Last two kicks, one, one. So we're going up to. 110 to 14 now, Brian. Okay. Pulling away a little bit. Vince's look a lot more comfortable now yeah. than they did in the first half. Yeah. John Bridgman is going off. Who came on there? Oh, it's uh, Peter Curry. Yeah, John, slow, you know, quiet game. He was quiet, yeah. yeah, he was. Usually he's good, he's a good eye for a score, but he, he has to get the ball. He's a handful. Oh, get up. oh great catch. Nice catch, Keith Campbell. 
He's looking for that long ball in. Goes the corner back. Get up. Oh, there's another white. Another white. Now, the last thing we all want now is Fences to go down and get another bloody score. Brandon Egan on the ball. Looking for options. Gonna go short here. There's the overlap oh from. Look. It's too easy. Mossy. Okay, they're gonna come across the pitch here. Mark the strange. Okay, 14 behind the ball here from Whitehall. Very negative, Connor. Sure. They. It's a strategy. Force him out, force him out. Good oh ball. On the ball. It's another score. Tom Crane, he timed that run lovely, didn't he? Yeah, he, uh, he waited for the moment. Did the figure of eight and then he came. Bleeding assassin. There hasn't been a better club footballer in Dublin, has there? No, he's Just you know. ma magic. Well, it's gone out to 111 for Vincent now. Okay, why do need a score here? That's they do need, like, four words. Vincent's are just more efficient in front of goal. There's a okay, fifth flip and wide. You know. Okay, then we gotta start getting a little frustrated now yeah, with these yeah. balls. That's the danger. They're not, they're not getting any reward for winning that small ball in, in midfield. Going long. No, he's okay. not. Yeah. Well. That was too easy, wasn't it? That's the strange there, number seven. Mark the strange, into yeah. Into Massey again, and uh, is he releasing some out. steals up? Simple ball, Stephen. Now carry to the next tackle and move it on. Good shot. Eddie down the line, make it own. You have it. That's a great now ball. Now he's on his space. own. He has the strength and power to get past him. Go on, on. go on, push him aside. Oh, overcarried, overcarried. Through that, yeah. Uh, well, either overcarried or through it. Uh, ref, the ref is a Clontarf man, is he, Brian? Willie Oak, Clontarf, Clontarf man, Clontarf in this group. Yeah. The same group. I'm not sure if he is. I know the linesman there, at, uh, Mossy Cunningham, is a Clontarf man. All oh, right, is that the Mossy Cunningham that went over to? Do a bit refereeing over in the States. That's him. He was the top man in Chicago for a year. Oh. That was helpful. It's a bit of a chanter, isn't he? Is helpful. Boise. Boise, yeah. Marlene. <laughs> uh, so Brendan Egan seems <laughs> he's operating as a free man. Who's 24 at the moment? That's God, is it? Gavin Bork on. Yeah. Free. Yeah. He's only on the bloody pitch and your young is getting free, diving. Nice ball in. Albert Martin. Didn't see who came off, Connor. Oh, well, that's a great ball in. No. Oh, well done, Stephen. Well done. I'll take him. I didn't see who went off for Gavin. Um, Albert, does it? No, Albert is still on. Scored now in this half. They need a score. Concard has gone on to oh now. Get up there. Well done. Go for oh, referee, give him a bleeding chance. Okay, he's gone. Now pull down there in the sideline. He's injured. Still able to carry a ball. Greg Murphy's gone off to Vincent's team. We got he worked hard for that free. Oh. He did. Breaking it's all free, play. though. It wasn't a free. There's a bit of commotion down the sideline, down the far end. I don't think it's on the camera. You're not gonna we have a streaker. It's Carmel Tyrrell. She's doing a streak. The stewards are there at her now, trying to restrain her. At least she has a face mask on. Who, who yeah, the stewards have dressed her there. She's okay. Nearly 
find this one. Right, Cormac, this will be our first car at a half now. 11 minutes into this half. You know, we've racked five words already, Brian, up. Here's another soap coming on for Vincent. Number two's gone, can't car gone off, is he? First point of the half, Brian. Yeah, Mick Concar gone off there. Yeah. Young uh, Conor O'Brien in Conor back. Okay. He was uh, he was on the under twenties. Was on the minors a couple of years ago. Really, really exciting prospect. Uh, okay. Uh, lovely footballer. Uh, surprised, oh, surprised Craig. he didn't start. Craig caught in possession there. Ball breaks in midfield. Luke McCarthy. Now. Have we got the long ball? No, he's isolated. Like three and one now, look. Okay, it's coming in. It's gone ah, over again. That's no, wide. Give him a chance, will you? Another wide there for Whitehall. That's six wides. Quick ball out for me. Ah, referee. Vincent would be happy just to play, play ball in this half now, wouldn't it? All the pressure's on Boy Hall. They have to start imposing themselves in this half. A few changes, what do you think? Yeah, they're starting to play a bit better now, Vincent. It's opened up for them a little bit, I yeah. think, and uh, they're moving the ball a bit quicker. They have a lot of running off oh the yeah. shoulder. There's Shane now with another, another oh, score. Smash and score, that. Smash and score. Shane Carty. Yeah, they certainly uh, slow to warm up, but I suppose you can expect that with the preparation. Uh, so Whitehall's um, first half performance was very, very impressive. They can take a lot of heart from that. Yeah. There's a the two on one situation, and they still didn't win. Oh, he got his free. So the score, Brian, it's 1 5 to 1. Is this, is this ref from Whitehall or Clontarf, did you say? Clontarf. Oh, really? Okay. You seem to get a lot of frees. Stop, will you? Who, who we haul? Yeah. Joking. Look at this ah, now. Look. Referee. Blade and handbags. He saw nothing. Long ball again. In from Here Eddie Morn. He's picking out Owen O'Donnell. Hand on it. Oh, McSavage read that well. Yeah, they're just 50 50 balls in, Brian. I'm, I'm very surprised at Whitehall with their kicking in the second half. They're playing with a very strong breeze and they, they haven't uh, haven't judged their kicks in at all. Uh, we've had about five go over. Like Vincent's have reorganised. They're going to double team on O'Donnell. Though. So those are uh, high percentage shots coming into them, you know. Here's Mullins again. Oh, yeah, should have met him. Mullins. Uh, oh my God. Boy, ball. It, it's, it's in the cornfield, Brian. It's in the field of corn. <laughs> oh, he's work hard for that. Coming up the line. Oh, well read. Diamond! Oh! Which way is he going to give that? 50 50 ball, was it? It was, there was no intent there at all, but a nasty injury there to, uh, I'm not sure, is it Sean Foran, yeah. Look, bit of handbags, like Cormac doesn't need to be in there. Put your Stella McCartney bag away. Is he screaming up the demo? I thought they were his pals. You gonna throw it in, Brian? Or is it? Where is the ball? Sean, uh, or is it? 
Water break, anyway. Brian, you know, seven points in it now. Can't see uh, Roy Hall coming back. No. Pulled away in this half, Connor. Uh, Whitehall don't look as comfortable as they did in the first half, but they're uh, you know, orchestrating their own downfall with these long balls they're delivering in uh, with the breeze behind them. They're just going over the end line endlessly, really. But all is not lost. They're still in the game. Yeah, seven points. Halfway through. Assumption of play there after the water break. Uh, th two changes there for we all. We have Sean Moran after coming on and the end of O'Donnell after come on. So fresh legs and see what they can do. The break might have interrupted uh, Vincent's momentum. Oh, Sean, get rid of it. Into the tackle. Eddie Moran with a long kick in to nowhere. Bit of inexperience there, Brian. Yeah, he had nobody inside there. He needed to work that in, recycle. Sean Lamb on the ball. Mark the Stranger getting on a lot of ball, Connor. He has, yeah. yeah. See, his man is pushed in. He, he sort of a free roll there in the yeah, half back line. Yeah, they swapping over. Kane Murphy had pushed in. I think Kane's gone off now, isn't he? He was one of the changes. Stephen. Thank you, Hazel Stephen. Oh, yeah. Hospital ball. 
Rossi Quinn, Gavin Bork, there was a possession. Now, 10 second turnaround. Oh, good galloping kick. He gets a free, very soft free. He's gone back up to the full forward line now. So that sweeper roll has gone out there. There's a change attack. Here's Owen again. Out in front of Craig's. Over to get the score on the board. Well done, Owen. That's good. That's good. Tony. Tony, I'll say that. He what? Come on, Huey. Will Huey have the bloody legs for the 60 minutes? Diamond to go on ahead. Breaking. Oh, he's bottled up. He's bottled up. Ah. Yeah, McConley, yeah. Uh, he's having a quiet game, isn't he? He's quiet, yeah, but he's shown, he's shown flashes. Yeah. That can often happen, Connor, and then there's two goals in the net. Yeah, yeah. You sight of him at your peril. He's up on the sideline, he's gonna. Recycling the ball, Nathan Mullins. Oh, well robbed. Ah, oh, so free. He was holding his arm there, free. I think we're gonna get a dose of rain again, are we? So free, boy. One five to one twelve. Uh, well, that's your one six to one twelve. Oh no, don't register there. Yeah. What's the delay? Satellite. What's the opposite go short here? Shane Cardi. He's very, very cool on the ball, isn't he? Albert Martin with a speculative shot. Looks good though. High percentage. Drops oh a bit well short. Well done, Stephen. Well a long ball. That's a two and one. No. That wasn't the option. He did well. Did the hard work and then. Shane Cardi again. Cavan, is it? Mark the Stranger was. Uh -huh. Very congested. Uh, yeah, but it's a shot away. Nice score. Rossi Quinn. It's hard to see, Brian. They're much more efficient in front of the post, Vincent's. Yeah, that's half. Another sub coming in now for Vincent's. End of early. Like end of, end of early for Albert Martin. So one six to one fourteen, seven point game. But fifty four minutes in, well held. Is that not Mark? Mark, Mark. yeah. Out in front, he's out in front. Now on, you're in behind him. Well held. Go for goal. Go for flipping goal. Uh, four block ref. Uh, Forty five. Forty five. Yeah. Crowd very boisterous here, looking for a foot block. Yeah. Great pair of hands. He's the only threat, really. He, he, he's really, really impressive. I think the ball hit his foot rather than a foot block. Ah, stop, would you? <laughs> <laughs> There's a bleeding foot block. Sharp ball. Don't short here. Oh. Here he has it. Oh. He better not shoot. Is he going to go for You're eating your words, Connor. Oh over the bar. Oh, God, he made a tick of me there. Well done, Yui. One seven to one thirteen, six point game. Three and one. He's bottled up. He's bottled up. He's bottled up. Well done, Carmick. Right, got that free. Wrong kick out for Savage. That uh, was along the ground. One. Yeah. Okay. This is Carmick's Just gave him too much again. To do. Handy free for Carmick there. 
If I'm the county lads, get my handy phrase. Ah, yeah. That's three on the trot now for Whitehall. Okay, Hall. yeah, that's a one eight to one fourteen. Five point game. Now a goal. Uh, it, it's just a time lag in the score. Harry Bowdy's gone talk on the line. Look at the head in him. <laughs> Goes long this time. Get up! Now you, you'll make course. this one. Oh, get up, get up, get up. Ah, now Sean Moran has it. And then now, take on the next tackle. Nice, efficient. And there's Look hammer. for the return, Coslo. There's hammers gone okay. there, Ender. A forward mark. Straight away. Who? Ender. Ender. He's, He's only, only on in. the bloody pitch. He's gone. He's only on the pitch and he's gone. There we go. That's four scores, is it? Yes. So it's 1 9 to 1 14. Four point game. So we have an injury there. And uh, O'Donnelly came on there as a sub. He's actually tweaked his hamstring. Noel O'Connor. It's coming on now for the end of Jeez, he's very unfortunate. End of, end of, yeah. The horse, he'd be in the glue factory. Well done, Luke. Get up. He's bottled up. He's got rid of it, though. Out in front, then. Oh, nice hands. Well done. Good intercept there. Oh, that's a poor pass by Diamond. Ah, come on. Calm down. What's going on? Slow build up here. There's no panic about Vincent. Long ball in. Come on, Dave. Pushing the back there. Yeah. No. Okay, yeah. Bit of momentum away Hall now at the minute, is there? Ah. Give it away, Gavin Burke. Hello, Gavin. In one, two, simple ball. Ah. Overlap here, Dermot Connolly going. Here's the goal. Uh, this is only going one place. Oh, oh. <laughs> he fell. He should have went Did everything himself. right. Should have went himself. Half. He did the right thing. Gavin Burke, no dinner for him tomorrow. <laughs> Jackie. That's it, Sean. Carry it to the next tackle. Go on, Keith. Get rid of it now. Oh, here we go again. Tony O'Sullivan. He kept it in. No, no support. Don't even cover him back. Nick Savage back to the goalkeeper. Here's the boys on. Come on, boys on. Harry, is it? <laughs> Turn over there by Whitehall. Come on, Cormac, left foot, high left percentage foot. kick. Another Great score. strike. That's the last five scores to Whitehall. Momentum's with them. One tenth, one thirteen. A goal in it. Another long ball into Owen. Vincent's had the chance to get it, put it out of sight there with the goal yeah. that was missed. Should have taken it. He had the chance to pull the trigger. That's right now. Yeah. 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 We're, in the, we're going into injury time now. Will the ref allow for us? We need to win this kick out. He's gone long. Should have played the percentage. Just we have it. And Mark, set yourself. He played. To, uh, Go on, the right hand has it. Boy. Okay. We're in injury time. There was a few injuries with Ende and uh, Lee Gannon. So there is a bit of injury time. So it's a uh, one eleven to one fourteen, two point game. Nick Savage should be playing short now. They should keep possession. For him. Yeah. Now put him under pressure here. He could bottle it. He could bottle it. Ah. Vincent's if he happy to still playing possession here, Brian. Yeah. I've gone to sleep a little bit the last few minutes. Yeah. Oh, oh he 
just lost the session out in the wrong place. Sean Lowry on the ball now. He had a quiet second half. Yeah, he's played in the for in the full forward line a bit. I expected him to come out and play. Uh, I thought Vincent would play a two-man full forward line. Here's Gav now. Just retain possessions. Vincent would be happy to throw the ball. It's up to Whitehall to win and turn her over. No. Empty the tank now for the last minute. Okay, Vincent's out of town in possession yeah, here. Back yeah. to Brendan Egan, recycling the ball. Recycle the it's ball. up to Whitehall to turn her over. <laughs> Jesus. It's all free there for Whitehall. That was a free. He knew what he was doing. Right. Mm. Two minutes played of injury time. I'm sure the ref will give him every opportunity to get a, the next car. Only two minutes into it. Two points in it, yeah. That's a hit and hope. There they are, double team. And oh, the ref. They did right. Mossy's come out. Ah, he should have done more on that free. Oh! Shoulder into the chest there, free to Vincent. Crowd not happy, Connor. Jeez. <laughs> He's feeling it though. Look at him. <laughs> he walked into it. <laughs> I was a shoulder into the chest. <laughs> Three minutes into injury time where we are now. Well, it could be, it depends on the ref. <coughs> this is bread and butter for. Mossy now. Mossy should get this. Yeah. <laughs> Looks good. Yes. Three point game again. We're three and a half minutes into injury time. It's up to the ref now. He might he might allow another play, will he? Oh he will. There was a Yeah. Get up! Uh. Nice hands, Keith! And away you go! Now, pick out a right person. Ah, uh, ah, uh, for fuck's sake. He was falling down. Get up. That's no good to us there. In around the house, boys. Bit of a Gary on. He's going to score a point. Four minutes in. I thought he might orchestrate a goal here. What do we reckon? Okay, so it's 112 to 114. Four minutes in. Maybe play another minute and a half. We have to win this. Don't let them have the short kick out, Whitehall. Don't let them have it. So he's gone long. Now, big ball. Huey, where are you? Get up! Oh, oh free in. Giving a free to Whitehall. Ah. Oh, the ref. Ah. Okay, giving away there. Nathan yeah, Mullins on the yeah. attack. That's their chance gone, is it? It's difficult to know how much uh, extra there. time is, is, is he, he's going to play. Here's a shot coming up and shine. Point. Back Point. to three. Nice score. 112 to 115. Nice score, though, that. Joy Hall blew it there with that chance. That free. Yeah, bad time to lose possession. Eddie, hold on, Eddie, nice. An overlap here now. Now, Sean, in. Now, I want you to look for it. Get up. Ah, oh, go yeah. on. Free in. Quick ball. There was a pull back there, so yeah. we have a free. So it should be 112 to 115. Just going to shape uh, it up for a point here again. Yeah. They obviously know something we don't, Brian. So 114 to 115. 114 to 115. Right. Force them to kick it long. Win the next kick out, we all. Come on. I 
He's a great style. Lamb hasn't he done one? Yeah, always looks to attack. <laughs> Just need to keep possession here yeah. now, Vincent. <coughs> Nathan Mullins to Gavin Bourke, Liam McGovern. Into Massey, oh, is it? Here's the goal. Is Mark Gavin Lestrange, well is it? done, Stephen. Pull back oh, there. Penalty, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. was pulled back as he was yeah, about to pull the trigger. trigger yeah. Is it Mark Lestrange? Mark Lestrange up there? Yeah, running back. Had a fine game in fairness. Ah, yeah, entertaining. Whitehall, poor start to the second half. The Vincent's won a, won Vincent's choked him uh, in the first quarter of the second half. But they got a run of what? They five did, scores they five scores on the trot, yeah. Why not can take huge heart? This is the first year back up yeah. in the A Championship. Uh, they've done quite well. Yeah. Especially with the, the, the debutants, the young lads there playing. Yeah, they've all. Uh, they equipped themselves. Keith Campbell, very good tonight, you know. He put himself about. Eddie Moore did a job. Stephen and goal. Yeah, no, most things went well, and yeah, had the ref as well. <laughs> Stop Brian, will you? He's after giving his a bloody penalty. Justified. Is this Mossy now? Onion sack. Yes. Oh, very nice. Very nice strike. So, 215 to 114. Uh, is that a fair reflection on the, the play, the score, score line? Oh. Sean Lowry again. They're going for the juggler. Oh, Ooh, off the crossbar. crossbar. <laughs> Club chairman over there, he's very vocal on the line, isn't he? Rowdy. One fourteen to two fifteen. Eight minutes. Eight minutes overtime. This could be the last attack for White Hall now. Uh, it's not going well. Oh! There we go. Full time whistle. Um, entertaining enough game. Final score was one fourteen to two fifteen. Vincent's probably edged in the end. You know. They did that first quarter in the second half. Uh, yeah, that's when the damage was done. Uh, yeah, I, d I don't have track of the score, but they certainly uh, came back into the game, Vincent's very sluggish start. But I suppose first game out, interrupted preparation. Yeah. Uh, both teams can be happy. Uh, yeah. Blew the cobwebs off. Absolutely. Highly impressed with Hoyha, I must say. Uh, great work uh, that's been done under edge has come to fruition tonight. Uh, so they need to push on now. And a tough game against Bally Bowden and Clontarf to come. But uh, Wait, the Clontarf game a neutral game, neutral venue. Uh, I'm not sure the layout of the fixtures just yet, but uh, yeah, I think I think Whitehall can pick up points in this division, yeah. or this group. Um, I, I agree with you. Uh, we're happy enough, Stephen. 